Since the population standard deviation is unknown, we must use the sample standard deviation instead. The sample standard deviation is equal to the square root of the ratio of the sum of square deviations from the mean and sample size n minus 1. Since the sample size n minus 1 equals 29, and the sum of square deviations from the mean is 1.3132, the sample standard deviation is 0.2128. Step one involves determining the hypothesis. Since the filling process is continued, if the sample results are consistent with the assumption that the fill mean filling weight for the population of Coke bottles filled is 16 ounces, then all hypothesis is the population mean mu is equal to 16 ounces. While the alternative hypothesis must be population mean mu is not equal to 16 ounces. If the alternative hypothesis is true, the process should be adjusted. In step two, the test statistic is computed. Since sample mean x bar equals 16.093333, the hypothesis the highest value of the population mean is 16, the sample standard deviation is equal to 0.2128 and the sample size is 30, the t-stat is equal to 2.40. In step 3, we use the t-distribution table instead of the standard normal table to determine the critical values because the population standard deviation is unknown in this example. Since this is a two-tailed test with a significance level of 0 0.0500, alpha divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.0250. The upper t value, denoted t subscript 0 0.0250, is found in column 0 0.025 in the t distribution table. With a sample size of 30, the upper t value is in row degrees of freedom equal to 29. The probability that t is greater than or equal to 2.045 is equal to 0 0.0250. Hence, the upper t value, denoted t subscript 0 0.0250, is equal to 2.045. By symmetry, the lower t value, denoted negative t subscript 0 0.0250, is equal to negative 2.045. In step 4, we determine whether the null hypothesis is rejected or not. Since the critical values are plus and minus 2.045, we plot them on the number line. These values define the reject the null hypothesis and the do not reject the null hypothesis regions. In addition, the area to the left of negative 2.045 is equal to half of the significance level, while the area to the right of 2.045 is equal to the other half of the significance level. Since the sample data yielded a t-stat equal to 2.40, it is plotted on the number line right of critical value 2.045. Hence, we reject the null hypothesis at the 5% level of significance since the t-stat is not between the two critical values. This means there is sufficient statistical evidence to infer that the alternative hypothesis is true. That is, the mean filling weight is not 16 ounces. Thus, the production line needs to be shut down and adjusted. The procedure for doing tests about population proportion P <coughs> is similar to those about population mean mu. The disease statistic for a test about population mean mu, given population standard deviation sigma is known, is equal to the deviation from the hypothesized population mean divided by the standard deviation of the sample mean. The z-stat for a test about population portion p 
is equal to the deviation from the hypothesized population proportion, denoted p subscript 0, divided by the standard deviation of the sample proportion, where sigma here is equal to the square root of the product of the hypothesized population proportion, p0, and 1 minus p0. Z stat is approximately normally distributed if the sample size, n, times population proportion p is at least 5, and sample size n times 1 minus population proportion p is at least 5. In the following example, we're going to look at the National Safety Council, NSC. For Christmas and New Year's week, the National Safety Council estimated that 500 people would be killed and 25,000 injured on the nation's roads. The NSC claimed that 50% of the accidents would be caused by drunk driving. A sample of 120 accidents showed that 67 were caused by drunk driving. Perform a hypothesis test at the 5% level of significance to determine if the NSC's claim is valid. Since 67 of 120 accidents were caused by drunk driving, sample proportion P bar is equal to 0.55833. Note the hypothesized value of population proportion is equal to 0.5. 5 or 50 percent. In tests about the population proportion, sigma is computed from the hypothesized population proportion of 50 percent or 0.5. Sigma is equal to the square root of the product of hypothesized population proportion 0.5 and 1 minus 0.5, which is equal to in step 1, we determine the hypothesis. Since the NSC claim is that 50% of the accidents are caused by drunk driving, the null hypothesis is population proportion P is equal to 0.5, while the alternative hypothesis must be population proportion P is not equal to 0.5. In step 2, the test statistic is computed. Since the sample proportion p bar equals 0.55833, the hypothesized value of the population proportion is 0.5, sigma is equal to 0.5, and the sample size is 120, z stat is equal to 1.28. When we are studying or testing population portions, we always refer to the standard normal table. In step three, we determine the critical values using the standard normal table. Since this is a two-tailed test with a significance level of 0 0.0500, alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.0250. The lower z critical value, denoted negative z, subscript 0 0.0250, is found by finding 0 0.0250 in the standard normal distribution table. 0 0.0250 is in row negative 1.9 and column 0.06. Thus, the lower z critical value, denoted negative z subscript 0 0.0250, is equal to negative 1.96. By symmetry, the upper z critical value, denoted z subscript 0 0.0250, is equal to 1.96. In step four, we determine whether the null hypothesis is rejected or not. Since the critical values are plus and minus 1.96, we plot them on the number line. These values define the reject the null hypothesis 
and the do not reject the null hypothesis regions. In addition, the area to the left of negative 1.96 is equal to half of the significance level, while the area to the right of 1.96 is equal to the other half of the significance level. Since the sample data yielded a z-stat equal to 1.28, it is plotted on the number line between 0 and critical value 1.96. Hence, we cannot reject the null hypothesis at the 5% level of significance since the Z statistic is between the two critical values. This means there is sufficient statistical evidence to infer that the null hypothesis may be true. That is, the NFC claim of 50% of accidents are caused by drunk driving appears to be valid. Complete homework 9 on Blackboard.